This Hall of Honor video is brought to you by the Acacia Guild. To help support Scottish Rite charities, including the House of the Temple Preservation Foundation, Rite Care, and more, consider becoming a member of the Acacia Guild. You can find a link in the description below. Audie Murphy, 33rd Degree. Audie Leon Murphy was an American soldier, actor, songwriter, and rancher. He is widely considered to be the most decorated American combat soldier of World War II. Born June 20th, 1925 near Kingston, Texas, Audie Murphy was the sixth of nine children born into a poor family of cotton sharecroppers. So poor, in fact, that they would often give some of their cotton crop as rent to the landowners. When Audie was only 12 years old, his father abandoned the family, causing Audie to leave school to work in support of the family, first as a farmhand, then as a grocery clerk and a filling station attendant for $12 a week. When Audie Murphy was 16, tragedy struck the family when his mother, Josie Killian Murphy, died from an illness, leaving all nine children as orphans. The younger children were sent to an orphanage while the older children went their separate ways. Audie left for Greenville, Texas, where he was able to find work in a radio repair shop for $16 a week. One year later, World War II would begin. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Audie attempted to enlist in the military, but was turned down by three separate branches of the service for being underweight and underage. A few months later, one of Audie's sisters helped him falsify his birth records, and on June 30th, 1942, he was accepted into the U.S. Army and sent to basic training, first in Walters, Texas, and then at Fort Meade, Maryland, scoring high marks in attitude and leadership. In February of 1943, Audie Murphy shipped out as a corporal in Company B, 1st Battalion. Audie Murphy participated in nine major campaigns hosted in Tunisia, Sicily, Naples, Rome, southern France, Rhineland, and Central Europe. He has been credited with killing, wounding, or capturing 240 Germans. During his battle campaigns, Murphy would receive over 20 decorations, including the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, two Silver Stars, two Bronze Stars, and three Purple Hearts. Audie Murphy's Medal of Honor was earned in January of 1945 when, while commanding Company B as a second lieutenant, Murphy and his men came under heavy attack by a German tank squadron. Murphy ordered his men to withdraw into the nearby woods while he remained forward and directed artillery fire by phone. Single-handedly, Murphy climbed aboard a burning tank destroyer and took control of its 50 caliber machine gun, even though the vehicle could have blown up at any second. Flanked on three sides by the enemy, Murphy held off the attack alone for over an hour, and the Germans were unable to force his retreat until he had run out of ammunition. Wounded, he returned to the rest of his company and, refusing medical treatment, commanded a counterattack, forcing the Germans to withdraw. Thanks to Audie Murphy, Company B did not surrender even one inch of ground on that day. Murphy was promoted to the rank of first lieutenant and then decided to come home. Arriving back in Texas on June 14, 1945, he was not old enough to vote, but was already the most decorated combat soldier in the war. On July 5, 1945, Audie Murphy appeared on the cover of Life magazine. His renown led him to Hollywood, where Audie Murphy would become an actor, starring in 44 movies, some of which were based on his own exploits in World War II. He also appeared in numerous television shows and was often seen appearing in westerns or appearing as himself, as in this game show, What's My Line, from you 1955. You to fame. Did you, uh, did you uh, do something that attracted the nation's attention and that you were featured in newspaper stories at one point? Yes, that's right. Well, if, uh, if you are a motion picture actor who was featured in newspaper stories, would it have been as a result of your performances in World War II? Yes, that would be true, Dr. Miss Arlene. Well. Mr. Serf? Are you Audie Murphy? Audie Murphy, <laughs> right. 
Audie became interested in Freemasonry in 1955 and petitioned North Hollywood Lodge No. 542 in North Hollywood, California. He was initiated on February 14, 1955 as an entered apprentice, passed to the degree of Fellowcraft on April 4, 1955, and raised to the sublime degree of Master Mason on June 27, 1955. When his career in show business started to die down, Audie Murphy moved back to Texas and became a rancher. He joined the Scottish Rite Valley of Dallas in the Orient of Texas, becoming a Master of the Royal Secret in 1958. He was elected as a Knight Commander of the Court of Honor in 1965 at the Valley of Dallas. He later affiliated with the Valley of Long Beach, California, as he frequently traveled back and forth between California and Texas. America's most decorated soldier of World War II, Audie Murphy, used to refer modestly to himself as a fugitive from the law of averages. Now it appears the law of averages has caught up with Audie Murphy. On a wooded mountain near Roanoke, Virginia this afternoon, rescue workers found six bodies and no survivors in the remains of a private plane the 46-year-old Murphy and a group of businessmen had taken. On May 28, 1971, Audie Murphy was aboard a private plane on a business trip. Due to poor weather conditions, the plane crashed into the side of a mountain near Roanoke, Virginia. Audie Murphy's body was recovered two days later on Memorial Day, 1971. Audie Murphy was buried in Arlington National Cemetery on June 7, 1971 with full military honors. He was just 45 years old, and his grave is one of the most visited sites at Arlington. In 1999, Audie Murphy was posthumously elected to receive the honorary 33rd degree of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. His white cap was presented to his wife, Mrs. Pamela Murphy, and his portrait was added to the Scottish Rite House of the Temple Hall of Honor.